Good afternoon. How's everyone? So I'm a little late today and that is because I have been uh, traveling all day from New York to California but I'm here now so I thought I might as well do my daily Q&A with all of you. Um, so here we go. Uh, the questions mostly are coming from readers of uh, You Are the Universe, Discovering Your Cosmic Self and Why It Matters. So I'm presuming that one way or another we want to expand our awareness. Okay? One way or another we want to expand our awareness. Today's question is from Medley, M-E-D-O-L-Y, Sandona. And by the way, we have always, uh, we also uh, have changed the location of where you are to send your questions. So please send your questions to info at jio.com, I-N-F-O at jio, J-I-Y-O dot com. So let me repeat it uh, twice, I-N-F-O, info at jio, J -I -Y -O dot com. info at jio dot com. So um, the question today is from Medley Sandona and by the way you know I get lots of questions so I put them in a queue and I answer them uh, in the order that I receive them. Uh, that's the best way I think or unless the question is absolutely fascinating and uh, interesting, then I might uh, bypass some of the other questions. So anyway, today's question is from Medley Sandona and she has a long introduction to her question. Um, but um, the question basically starts with uh, her saying that she had a quiet whisper in her awareness that told her to downsize and move and so she did and uh, then um, where, where she moved she had to do some improvements and simplify things but nothing went her way you know she f couldn't find the right energy she couldn't find the uh, right uh, people the workers etc basically everything she tried was not going her way and now uh, an aunt of hers has asked her to come and take care of her and she's elderly, she's 85 plus and uh, she would like her to come back to where she left and take care of her and there's a big house and she's very fond of her aunt, she really wants to do this but, uh, but uh, um, you know she thought she was simplifying her life and now she's uh, seemingly not simplifying it and uh, she's feeling betrayed by her intuition. Her uh, intuition um, has kind of betrayed her, hijacked her and um, or uh, her intuition has been hijacked whichever way you want to put it and so um, she doesn't <coughs> know what to do, she's confused. So this, this question can be answered uh, at many levels, many levels. First of all, intuition is only reliable when it comes from the total stillness of um, mind. And you ask a question and if you go into meditation and uh, you get an epiphany or an insight uh, or uh, synchronicity in the form of situations, circumstances, events and people, you could call that uh, pretty reliable. But also sometimes if you ask a question before you go to sleep at night and you go into deep sleep, then uh, there may be clarity and answer in the morning. And that's because um, the unconscious mind is where there is the um, proliferation of uncertainty, the surrender to uncertainty and uh, response 
from um, the deep unconscious. Uh, so try that. Try to ask questions and go into deep stillness through meditation. And also ask questions before uh, you go to sleep uh, at night. Uh, Liz Madsen, what are you drinking? Uh, coffee. Did you know that coffee is now uh, uh, is um, now considered to be um, mitigating five types of cancer, including ovarian cancer, breast cancer, liver cancer, pancreas, pancreatic cancer, and uh, uh, some uh, GI cancer, colon cancer. Also, coffee is now supposed to be mitigating against the risk of Alzheimer's. Uh, <laughs> look it up. Look it up. Um, yeah, Google all the benefits of coffee. And by the way, it's not decaf coffee because um, the decaf process actually adds all kinds of uh, other toxins. So good coffee, good organic coffee. is great for your health, about three to four, even five cups a day. But um, don't take my word for it, look up the research. So coming back to intuition, <laughs> okay. Um, ask questions before meditation and ask uh, questions before you go into deep sleep. In deep sleep there is the proliferation of uncertainty, there is the surrender to unpredictability that results in a creative response which may come in the form of an insight what we call intuition or um, situation circumstance event so i'm very sorry for these interruptions the wi-fi is acting up okay but um, Medjali Sandona's question is that she's betrayed by this and now what should she do? So I said this on the answer um, is at many levels. On the everyday level, I just know that when you're experiencing resistance, then uh, that is a sign to uh, stop persisting because what you resist will persist. So once again, when you're uh, experiencing uh, uh, resistance, then uh, just know that um, you're not being supported by the elements and forces of the universe. Okay? So um, then, what's the second step? Second step is you should uh, remind yourself of, uh, uh, of uh, something come, that comes from the wisdom traditions that when things uh, don't seem to go my way I let go of my idea of how they should be trusting that I don't know the full picture. Thirdly, um, you should be asking yourself why did I want that? What was the, what was the real purpose behind my intention? Was it joy and uh, happiness? And if I'm not getting happiness because I'm stuck to my idea of what will keep, give me happiness, then, um, then uh, I should let go of that idea. Okay, so make a few simple rules. Number one, um, uh, if I get what I get, will I be happier or more joyful? Number two, will I have fun uh, getting there? Number three, will I engage with people uh, that are fun to be with? And number four, will it make a difference um, for the better in my life and the life of others? So when you ask those questions, then you broaden your perspective. And when you broaden your perspective, then of course, um, um, the intentions also change. The intentions uh, change. When one is um, in the fight flight response, there's uh, one kind of intention. In the reactive response, another kind of intention. In the centered awareness response, another kind of intention. 
in the intuitive response intentions take on a deeper significance creativity different uh, kind of intention higher consciousness different kind of intention unity consciousness different kind of intention so what we want also changes as our awareness expands but on the personal level what i've said to you should um, i hope be helpful ask yourself right now if i go back and take care of my aunt will i have more fun than i'm having right now or this is not a this or that choice there are infinite possibilities what else could i choose to intend but there's a bigger picture here and i'll come to the bigger picture in 15 seconds so what's the bigger picture the bigger picture is that these problems that we have as everyday problems um, uh, if you expand your awareness um, then you will see that they are actually not important they are not uh, significant let me ask you a question do you uh, know who your grandparents were and you will probably say yes um, but if i ask you do you know the grandparents of your grandparents and then the grandparents of those grand great grandparents and of course uh, unless you have a genealogy somewhere um, you have no idea yeah that all these ancestors had lives they had concerns they had questions like you they fell in love they suffered their tragedies and they're gone and you don't even know who they were but had they not been there you wouldn't have existed right and yet um, you have no idea who these people were I say who were your ancestors 500 years ago they lived they loved they had pain they had pleasure they had concerns they had anxieties um, and um, they also had uh, pleasure and joy and uh, just like you but um, you have no idea who they were and now they are basically not even wisps of memory not even wisps of memory so when you expand your consciousness that way and uh, just remember that in about four or five generations the you that you think yourself are as a person nobody will know even existed okay in three four generations five generations nobody will know that you as a person existed and so when you expand your awareness and then you look at the big picture you know universe uh, expanding faster than the speed of light cosmic horizon 47 billion years light years away from us um, evolution only about um, whatever 2.8 uh, million years and um, 2.8 billion years is uh, is the first life forms and then human beings 100,000 years before that um, we were not even homo sapiens then you see that your perspective when it changes when it enlarges then little concerns don't matter and finally when you realize that uh, even that which you call yourself as a person a person this name this form is uh, intermittent evanescent transient ever changing process in awareness and that's all there is then actually a uh, very funny thing happens you detach joyfully these um, uh, things i uh, don't uh, don't mean anything you detach joyfully you realize that um, uh, life is, should be playful and joyful and nothing to be anxious about whichever th way things go and then as you rest in that awareness detaching from the evanescent transient impermanent e ephemeral situations and circumstances and events um, that are happening right now 
but rest in that which never changes, which is the seer and not the scenery, then um, you're uh, basically um, in flow, in joy, in joyful flow. And then um, in that, uh, what do you call it, um, choiceless awareness, everything happens um, spontaneously in an evolutionary direction. So I hope um, this helps a little bit. Um, be playful, be curious, um, be wonderstruck, be um, confused, be baffled, be bewildered, and then you will laugh. And that's the most healthy response to existence. Okay? Laughter is a healthy response. Because what is laughter? It's um, being comfortable with ambiguity, with paradox, with unpredictability, with uncertainty, and with confusion. I hope that um, helps a little bit. Um, my dear Medoli Sandona, and all of you, uh, Carol Brenner and 35 others just shared your video. Thank you, Carol, and all of you. So before I end, uh, I just want to say, um, send your questions to info at jio.com, I-N-F-O at jio.com. Now I check that email and uh, you will be put in a queue and I'll respond to it. But uh, do send those questions because that's the only way we can uh, engage, have fun, and I also will know what you're interested in. <clears throat> okay, cheers, and uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Somebody said, I hear a sound. That's good. That means you are aware. See you tomorrow.